Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. I'm Brett. My name is Renata, and these are our daughters, Giovanna and Gigi. Uh, we've had our Dogo Argentinos for about three years now. And we have uh, three females and a male, Mambo. Uh, the Dogo Argentinos are very loyal, very protective. They are affectionate, they're very loving. The more love you give to them, the more they will give back to you. And they're very perceptive of our feelings. For instance, uh, one time, one night, uh, uh, Sparta was in our room with us and uh, at night when we were sleeping and I had a nightmare and according to my husband I was making some primal noises and she jumped in and started licking me and woke me up and then she was she laid down right next to me and she stayed by my side the whole night so she's very attentive to to us and what's going on uh, we, we have our dogos at the, in an in a urban setting here in our house, so the, the work that they get is more protection work. Um, I take them to the a Livingstone Ranch where they go down these valleys and chase rabbits and they get a taste of, of the outdoors and the ability to run and, and just be really free and do what they, they like to do. Uh, that kind of satisfies a little bit of their outdoors desire. Their um, hunting needs. Their hunting needs. You haven't been able to catch a jackrabbit yet. They're pretty fast. Um, although they haven't all been together at the same time doing this, so maybe that'll work out good. So my, my situation here where I live in the desert, uh, in the summer, it's, there's nothing to do. Uh, it's very hot. The asphalt's super hot. So the dogs will, they try to play inside. Um, their understanding, I let them. During the summer, when they do their playing inside because it's too hot outside, sometimes they, they play early in the morning or in the evening, but we allow them to play inside of the house. So we, when they were little, I removed anything that they could break because they did break some things. And um, we tried to, uh, not to have many things around that they can destroy. And when they start playing and like the rest of the year, when it's not too hot outside, they play most of the time in the backyard. I, you know, sometimes I'll hose out the, the grass and get everything wet towards evening. And um, they'll, they'll come out and play a little bit. But if it's too hot, they just are only going to play for a very short time. Um, but they do wrestle a lot. They'll come in the house and they'll wrestle with each other. And if you've wrestled before, you know how much energy it takes to do that for a long time. These guys do it for a long time. Um, we also play um, in the backyard with a, with a fishing rod. Uh, the dogs go crazy trying to catch when they're all out there. Walking them is, is something that we do when we feel like we want to do it, which we try to do often. But if we can't for some reason, they have each other and they play so hard in the yard. Um, they wear each other out uh, like, they're, like one of them is a pig and they come inside and, and just crash for, for quite a while. So they, if, if we don't give it to them, they'll, they'll go in the yard and, and create enough energy. Uh, so they figure out how to get their exercise. They run up and down the stairs. Yeah, they will do. We allow them to, um, do that type of exercising when we know they haven't had an opportunity. Uh, they'll run up the stairs and chase each other around this house, um, and which is one, one thing that is good about our house, if you're gonna have a dogo, um, or any dog actually, is the hard floors. Um, ours are all stone, and it's, the maintenance is really easy. The dogs love it, and there's not that, and dogos don't have a smell, but if they did, you really wouldn't get too much of it because that's where a lot of house odors come with dogs is it's in the carpet. But most of the time inside of the house, they, they sleep a lot. They take long naps during the days or they just hang out with us. If, we are, if I'm upstairs on a computer, they'll hang out by the desk, lay 
lay around the desk and if we're in the kitchen making a dinner, preparing a, a meal, they they stick around some of them. They maybe mm. they're hoping to score a, a snack or, or something. But and that night they they like to stay in the bedrooms with us when we're watching T V or when the girls are in their rooms doing what they do with their electronics, they hang out. So you guys have four, you have four dogs, four people, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Mambo's your dog? Um, I think Mambo Mom. is my boy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of the, the leader of all of them. So I don't, tequila probably trusts me more than anybody. They all trust me a lot because I'm the, I'm the main feeder. Well, Tequila and Sparta are crazy about him, too. They're very close to him. They always want to be with him also. And uh, Mambo is more on his own, and but he's very affectionate with me, and he, he communicates with me very well. Sometimes when I'm by the computer and he needs something, he, he always talks with his paws also. He comes to me, he, he taps me, and he wants, and I know he wants to show me something, what he needs, and I follow him, and he keeps on looking back to see if I'm coming, if I'm following him, and then sometimes the doggy door is closed, so he will take me to the door so I can open the door so he can go outside, or he will show me that the water bowl is empty, and I'm like, oh, okay, or oh, it's time to eat, and I forgot to, that it's his time to eat, and I'm like, oh, you're hungry, and he goes to, to his bowl, so uh, he, he communicates a lot, he's very, I feel like he's very expressive with the, his eyes and... We have the reason, we have four, uh, for, one is that is, that's our limit, we can only have four. Uh, there would probably be more because you get, they're a little bit on the addicting because they're really cool. If you hold on to them long enough, it's hard to let them go. The right kind of person that would have this breed would be somebody who wants has time already to put into a dog. Um, that's the biggest part of it. You know, I've mentioned before some people aren't physically capable, um, so they're not. They're not. They wouldn't work for that either. You have to really look at that. Um, but it mostly is, is: Are you are you ready? Is that person ready to bring in uh, another life that's really going to change things? Uh, how they how they see life, what they do vacations they go on or don't go on now um, this is it's a the dog is a big a big changer in, in how that person is going to live so if you're ready for that then great if you're if your life's all full and you really can't see that um, you got time to change for a dog then that's not a good person either they, they require a lot of attention and a lot of training especially as puppies they, they need to be challenged. They can't, uh, if they're bored, then they will destroy things. So, and they, they want to learn. They want to, they want a job. They, so they require some attention, a lot of attention and, and training. Um, these dogs can live in an apartment. I, I know that only because we have sold puppies. Probably to half the people live in apartments. And from what I hear, everything works great for them because they've, they've planned a time to take their dog out. It's a part of what they do. Um, with umbrellas, with, it's part of their program. So yeah, they can they could do that. Um, also work schedules. Some people, when they work more than eight hours, sometimes that's too tough on a dog. Uh, an adult dog can get up to there maybe. Um, we get, I tell people get doggy doors if, if you can handle that because that is, um, an instant game changer. As soon as you get a dog, because the dogs don't want to do it in the house. I, I know even some of our dogs, they get up, upset stomachs holding it because we weren't there at the right time. So give them a doggy door and everything changes as far as a dog who has a problem going inside the house. The dogo typically behaves uh, perfect indoors as an adult. It's the, it's that puppy period where they really don't know what they're supposed to do or not do and they just they will destroy things if you're not on them um, I've had a lot of puppies that have left here that people say oh the it's, dog's perfect it's never done anything wrong I'm like wow because I have 
I've had some things, uh, carpet, uh, ends of rugs. But as adults, um, they aren't really allowed to do that. That becomes, they get in trouble. Um, when they're in trouble, um, I, I pretty much talk to them. I get, I show that I'm upset. I'm a, I show that I'm upset at what just happened. And I look at that. And because if I look at them, they get scared and they don't even process what's, what I'm talking about. So I look at the problem and I make a big deal about the problem. And the dog at that point realizes, don't ever make problems like that because this guy doesn't like it. And that seems to work. Um, the other, other ways just haven't worked so well when, you're, when you get in their face about what they've done. I think you scare them and they're, they're disconnected. They're just in fear of, of what you're doing. Um, Something I try, it works for me with dogos. Yeah, they're very sensitive. I don't, we don't have our dogs outdoors. That's, that's the place where they play. That's the place where they go to the bathroom. Um, when they're done, they, they come in here. It's like, it's like your kids. They, when they're done playing, they, they want to come inside. And the dogos are like that. So we, we accommodate that part of their personality because we, we like it. We like our dogs in here. I like them playing. I, I seldom don't want them around. Uh, the only time I, I think I don't want them around is when somebody comes over who is uncomfortable with dogs. And I know they're not going to get over that with a bunch of dogos sitting around. So I, I put the dogs away. Uh, they hate that. They, they love to hang out with people. So they're like right now, it's their n quiet nap time. Uh, and they don't know this is going on. So if, if they did, they would just be all begging to come out here. Dogos love to be around their family, around their people. They love people. So they do not like spending much time alone or in a backyard alone specifically. And uh, they also have uh, problems with their skin because their skin is sensitive. And so if it is during the summer, it's not a good idea to leave them outside very long. But I would say it's mostly because of their personality and uh, how, how they are. They, they enjoy being with, with people. So they, they want to stay inside of the house most of the time just to, to be around us, to, to be with us. So I would say... Dogo would not be, if you want to have a dogo, but you plan on leaving the, the dogo most of the time in the backyard, that's not a good idea. The dog will not be happy and it will not reach its potential as a, as a dogo. They do much better when they, when they have a lot of love and attention when they are with people. Um, as far as rules for our dogs indoors, um, I'm not I'm not big on rules. Uh, there's certain uh, like the recliner they they just know not to go there. Um, they will go on the couch. We we accommodate for them to come on the couch with with some throw blankets and stuff. Uh, they have their places on the floor, their beds and stuff, and and that's it. Um, as far as like when we're eating, uh, they're not supposed to bother us. Uh, they could stand close by, but was, every once in a while, like Ava will try to break the rules and get her head up there and see what's going on. But that's not really allowed. So, so we can be comfortable. Um, so that we, we kind of, the dogs learn to, to work around us and what we're doing. Uh, after a while, they get everything we're doing, so it's an easy, you don't have to say too much. Um, getting them to go outside when you know that you're going somewhere and they need to go to the bathroom and get things done, and they don't have to, um, sometimes they're well, like, why? There's no reason. They're not going to play. They don't have to. So they, they put up a little, then you have to put on your mean face, and then they go. As far as people coming into our house and, and our family, the rules that we have, um, I just tell people to be normal, and if they're uncomfortable for whatever reason, then 
I'll do something about it. But usually the dogs, they'll smell you up and down. And I tell them, they just gonna smell you. And they're just smelling smells, want to see where you've been. And after that, they will go and sit over there. They're done. They did their job and they're not interested in playing with you. The schedule that we have with them is mostly about their feeding. Uh, he wakes up very early with them. They usually, they're in his schedule or he's in their schedule. They wake up around five, six, and he, he feeds them in the morning around between six and seven, and then I take care of them at night. I feed them around six and seven p.m. So they, they eat every 12 hours, twice a day. Usually when he feeds them in the morning, he gives them uh, their kibble. The, they are on a grain-free salmon and potato, uh, dry dog food, and, but he gives them also lots of uh, meat, usually pork most of the time. And uh, we also use the, some supplements. There are some enzymes, granules, that we sprinkle on their food to help them with their digestion and immune system. It's just good for their health in general. Uh, we like to put coconut oil sometimes on their food mm. to help with their, their coat. And sometimes uh, at night when I feed them, I don't give them much meat. Meat. I give them uh, the their kibble with uh, with honey or with cottage cheese, and it's a lighter meal than what he does. What he feeds them in the morning. We also put some little herbs to help with the dental hygiene, and that's done once a day. Usually, he gives that to them in the morning. The drawbacks of having dogos in the house would, I would say, would be you now have hair, extra hair to vacuum that wasn't there before. Um, it's, it's short and it's not, I mean, we have four running around, so you'd think it's a lot. It's not a lot, but it's enough that you have to be regular about that. And that's a big game changer. Um, the other one is, uh, is as far as having dogos is your your vacations if you have like more than two let's say or maybe just two or one uh it's the vacations that you have to plan with or around your dog and then who can watch your dog uh, that becomes a big thing well how the dogos uh, interact with other dogs I guess it depends much on their training and their individual personalities. Mambo is very friendly, very social. He loves playing with other dogs. Ava, she's, she's a very good girl. She's very obedient, so she also doesn't have any problems playing with other dogs. The, the two alpha females, Esparta and Tequila, they have a stronger personality. Esparta in particularly in particular she does a, she's not very she's not big fond of small dogs she we try to keep her apart if you're considering getting a dogo uh, for the first time um, if you have the time to spend with the dog uh, it's going to be an amazing animal there uh, these dogs are so in tune with with their with their owners uh from the day they people pick them up i i get i only know because i do get all this feedback of how the dog is so connected to them and it's amazing and and that is just that's the the breed the dogo they're so wanting to be a part of of the people that own them so if you can handle a big dog uh then they can definitely bring a beautiful relationship uh, to the family and the kids. They they teach you patience uh, because they're so loving that you learn to be a little more patient with them because you know how cool they are in the end. And so it, it helps people to train them how they think and view everything. So even around here we have so we have four dogs, but we have we have a lot of peace uh, in those four dogs. Uh, and sometimes they even teach people to be a little nicer if you just follow how they are.